Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. Um, this chapter is going to be all about radicals, and we're going to start by simplifying radicals, which is going to be one of the easier things we do in the, in the whole course. Um, before we get into simplifying radicals, let's talk a little bit about some vocabulary terms that you'll need to know for this chapter. Um, in your notes there, I have uh, 4 cube root of 7. That's how I write, that's how I read this. 4 is going to be my coefficient. And that's the big number out front. So when I say something like 5x or 10x, the 5 or the 10, that's the coefficient. Same thing goes here. The big number that's out in front of the radical, and that's the check mark looking thing. The thing that looks like a check mark, or some people call it a square root symbol, um, is actually called a radical uh, in general terms. Because I can have things other than a square root. Um, like in this case, this is a cube root. And I know it's a cube root because of the 3. And that little number that's written up there at the top of the radical, in the corner there, that's called the index. Or you're al you'll also hear it referred to as a root. The index is kind of the technical term for it. Root is kind of a, just a, kind of a, another term you can use for it. So that's, that's that term right there. Um, and then the, the big 7 inside the radical, this is called the radicand. Okay, and in this case I call, I say it's 4 cube root of 7. Now let's say I had something like that, and that would be the square root of 5. <clears throat> now notice that there's, there's no index written there, there's no number in the check mark where the 3 would be here in the example. If there's no number there, it's a 2. Mathematicians are lazy, um, so they like to take the easy way out. So if it's, and most of the time it is a 2, so they just don't write the 2. It just means there's a 2 there. Now, the coefficient in this case is a 1. And you wouldn't see it written there, but just like with x, there's a coefficient of 1. Square root of 5 has a coefficient of 1. It's just not written. Okay, so let's simplify a radical. Uh, we're going to simplify the square root of 72 x cubed y squared. All right, step number 1, concentrate on the radicand. Again, the radicand is the number inside the radical. Now, if we talk about... Um, the other terms here, the index is a 2 because there's no number written up in the corner of the radical. And the coefficient is a 1. It doesn't show up there, but there's a big number 1 written right in front of the radical. All right, so uh, step number 2, factor the radicand into primes. So I'm going to break 72x cubed y squared down into primes. So 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. This looks a lot like GCF. And it is kind of like it, um, but we're going to do something different with it. All right, so uh, I have some x's and a couple y's. All right, that's step number two. Step number three, find groups of matches the size of the index. So we said that the index is a two since it's not written there. So I'm going to circle groups of two like things. So I'm going to circle the group and bring one of the group out front. Now, that index can change, so I had to be a little general there with that step. If the index was a 3, I would circle groups of 3 of the same thing. Um, but in this case, since it's a 2, I'm going to circle pairs of numbers and letters. All right, so I'm going to circle, um, let's go ahead and circle two 2s, two 3s, two x's, and two y's. Okay, so um, everything that I circle, I bring one out in front of the radical. So I'm going to bring one group of twos, or one two out front, one three out front, one x out front, and one y out front. Because what I'm doing there is taking the square root of each of the pairs. Two times two is four, the square root of four is two, so I'm going to bring one two out front. All right, so step four, whatever I brought out front gets multiplied together, so two times three is six, times x times y, so I end up with six x y out front. And then the leftovers stay inside the radical. It looks like I have a 2 and an x left over. So I'm going to write 2x. So my answer turns out to be 6xy square root of 2x. You can probably guess what this picture is. This is the Great Wall of China. Back in 2001, my wife and I got to visit China for a couple weeks. And uh, we got to hike along the Great Wall of China. This is a place called Simitai, which is near Beijing. It was a beautiful place and a wonderful experience. 
Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. We're going to simplify 9 square root of 24. First step, start with what's inside the radical, the radicon, that's 24. Um, so I'm going to break that down into its primes. So I have 9 out front, that's the coefficient. 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And I notice that my index is a 2, since it's, there's no number written up there, right there at the corner of the radical, then that means it's a, uh, it's a 2. All right, so what I'm going to do with the 2 is I'm going to circle pairs of numbers. So I see two twos. Looks like that's it. So I'm going to bring one 2 out front. I'm going to multiply it by the 9 that's already out front. So 9 times 2 is 18. My leftovers stay inside. Square root 2 times 3 is 6. So my answer is 18 square root 6. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. We're going to simplify the cube root of 32. First thing I do is start with breaking 32 down into its prime factors. All right, so 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It's five twos multiplied together. All right, so the next step, I'm going to circle groups of three of the same thing. And I'm going to circle three of the same thing because my index is a 3 in this case. So I see a group of three twos. All right, and that's it. So now I'm going to bring one of those twos out front. So I have 2 as the coefficient times the cube root. I have to remember that index. If there's anything left over in the radical, I have to remember to write the index. A square root and a cube root are two completely different things. And it looks like 2 times 2 is left over, so I have 4. So my answer is 2 cube root of 4. Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. We're going to simplify 6 cube root of 64. All right, first thing I do, break down 64 into its primes. 6 is the coefficient. Leave that out there for now. I have an index of 3, which I'll use later on in the problem. 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So it's 6 twos. All right, so I'm going to look for groups of 3 of the same things because it's a cube root. There's a group of 2s. There's another group of 2s. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. The cube root of 8 is 2, so I'm going to bring 1 out just like always. Just bring 1 of each group out front. So I have out front 6 times 2 is 12, times another 2 is 24. Now if you notice in this case, I do not have anything left under the radical. So I don't need to write the radical. Since there's nothing left, my answer is just the square root of, I'm sorry, just 24. Um, if you think about it, let's say I had the square root of 36. You wouldn't say the answer is 6 radical. The answer is just 6, because the square root of 36 is 6. So since there's nothing left under the radical there, you don't write it. Same thing up here. The answer is just square, or just 24, sorry.